Hi you guys, welcome to my channel Josephine's Fit. My name is Josephine and today I will tell you guys how I got rid of my yeast infection. Um, so in this video I will go over what a yeast infection is, what causes it and what are the symptoms of it and then after that I will let you guys know what I used um, to get over it. But disclaimer I am not a healthcare professional. Um, if you feel like you have a yeast infection then I would definitely talk to your doctor about it especially if this is your first time having it and then they would be able to direct you better in how to treat it and probably give you medication if you need um but yeah that is it let's get right into it all right you guys so i have my laptop to the left of me and i'm just going to be looking at that because i wrote some notes in there to reference back to Okay, so we're gonna start off with what a yeast infection is, specifically a VJ infection. So that's what I'm gonna call her, okay? All right, so um, yeah, so VJ infection is a fungal infection that causes irritation, discharge, and intense itchiness of the VJ and the vulva. Um, you will definitely, well, let me, keep reading and then I'll talk my talk at the end. So what causes a yeast infection? So there is a fungus called Candida albicans. I hope I'm saying that right. It's either albicans or albicans, but it is responsible for most VJ infections. Your VJ naturally contains a balanced mix of yeast, including Candida and bacteria. Certain bacteria act to prevent an overgrowth of yeast, but sometimes that balance can be disrupted and hence you get a VJ infection. So let's talk about some symptoms. So some symptoms would be So the symptoms that I had was definitely um, itching and irritation and I believe that's because I didn't treat it quick enough. So my mistake was trying to let it ride out and get better on its own after three or four days I was like nope it's not getting better it's actually um irritating me a lot more and i can't i can't help but to like you know <laughs> okay I, I i couldn't help but to like try and itch it but not really like scratching because you don't want to scratch down there okay if you do you will like um <laughs> I can't even explain it. Okay, so that burning sensation during intercourse and while urinating, I did not get because I did not have no intercourse during that time. And when I went pee, yeah, I just didn't have um, a burning sensation. But you guys, if you guys feel you do have a yeast infection down there, I highly, highly, highly recommend do not have intercourse because you just don't want that pain down there and i guarantee if you're you know doing the doom doom down while you're having um an infection it's gonna hurt right so i did get redness and swelling but that was because like i said i tried to let it ride out and do its thing vj pain and soreness um I wouldn't necessarily say it was painful for me. It was sore, but like I said, that was because I was trying to relieve the irritation feeling. And, oh, I did. I had TMI, TMI, disclaimer, all of that. I did have cottage cheese, like, discharge. I was like, oh, when I would wipe, I was like, oh, no not cool not cool at all and the watery discharge i didn't get 
Um, yeah, I don't know what they mean by that. Okay, so after all of that, let's talk about how I got rid of my infection. Okay, so when I figured out that writing this out was not the way to go, I was doing some research of my own and I came across um, a product called Monistat. And they have a couple different um, products ranging from days, I guess. So they have Monistat 1, it goes up to like Monistat 7, I guess. And so the numbers will tell you how many days the treatment is. So Monistat is a treatment. Um, I'm looking over here because I have it pulled up. So Monistat is an antifungal product that contains an active ingredient that fights yeast and is applied inside the VJ to treat and cure a yeast infection. So I was looking up reviews and at first I wanted to do Monistat 1, which was a one day treatment. But the reviews that I was reading was not it, okay? Um, a lot of people were saying that Monistat 1 was making them burn even more and it was like unbearable to a lot of them. And I guess, it be I guess it's because it has a higher percentage of whatever that's in there, um, whatever active ingredient is used to help fight the yeast inside of you but ah uh, i was already itching and it was already irritated really bad i didn't want to feel any type of burning sensation inside of me either so i decided not to do that one i was gonna go with monistat 3 but i was like uh you know i'm already I've already been having this infection for a couple days. Let me, let me just, I don't know. Okay, okay, I'm trying to make an excuse. I was scared also for the three. So I got Monistat 7, and to be honest, that one worked great for me. Um, I felt some results after day three of using the treatment. So you know what, I could have gotten Monistat three and I think I would have been okay but the seven day treatment did me no wrong so I'm gonna show you a little clip of how the product looks and how it works all right you guys so here is your cream the actual treatment and it is almost empty because I was on day seven so the last night um, here is the tube that it comes with so you get seven of these tubes and you're about to see me pull it out because this is what you want to do before putting the cream inside of here um, so I pushed it in because that is what you will do after the cream is put in All right, so in the clip we just seen, there was the treatment cream and the tube. And what you did not see was another cream. So they also give you a anti-itch cream, which relieves your itch feeling on the outer side. With the tubes, they have seven tubes. And I recommend doing this at night before bed. So that way, after you push the cream up there, you don't have to do a lot of walking and you won't have the chance of it coming out and it can do its job while you're just sleeping. Um, yeah, and it works just like a tampon. If you know how tampons work, you know, you just, boop. Wait, 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 you just, blue. <laughs> you just push it. Okay, so obviously you, you, you put the tube up there as much as you feel comfortable and then you um push the cream inside you remove the tube and you throw that away and you go to sleep um that is it so like i said i did this for seven days and after the third day i felt 
um, a drastic a drastic amount of relief um, you don't want to stop doing this after you feel um, some relief you want to use the whole treatment and get your money's worth right and just to make sure it is um, over and done with another tip I would give would be to wear something that is not restricting you down there so no tight undies okay what I wore was my husband's boxer briefs you know I just you know I just took it from his drawer <laughs> but yeah that really helped me a lot because I had um, a room down there it wasn't like really tight or anything and you get um not you don't really get air flowing through but you don't have nothing really just bunched up okay it's not bunching you don't want no bunching <laughs> okay yeah so there's that you know don't wear no tight jeans i would recommend wearing sweats if you could or a dress or just anything loose fitting really so that would be all for this video i hope you got some information out of it i hope that my experience will help you in any way thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video